everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be talking about a case that is really really sad it is really heartbreaking this is an old case actually I tried to do as much research as I possibly could but there's just not much information online about this case a lot of the information that I'll be giving you today will be based on a documentary which I will link down below if you would like to see it as well now let's get right into the story. This is the story of Kathy Bessena. Kathy was born into a poor Filipino family somewhere in Luzon. She was a hard worker and was always a good daughter. All she wanted was to provide and support her family the best she could. Like most Filipinas, Kathy wanted to have a better life for her and her family. Working as a sales lady in a department store, she knew that one of the fastest and easiest way to reach her dream for a better future was to marry a foreigner. Through a co-worker, Kathy signed up for a mail order bride. Yes, you heard it right. You guys, this thing doesn't just happen in movies or TV shows. This happens in real life too. Basically, this is like an agency where you submit your information with your photo and a marriage broker will then create your profile and show it together with other women's profile to foreign men who are looking for wives. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long Kathy waited to get selected, but eventually she got selected by a Korean guy named Park. Park was a 42-year-old guy and was a farmer in South Korea. He then decided to meet Kathy and came to the Philippines, and it was the marriage broker who set up their meeting. It was just really weird. I don't know if this goes with other mail order bride agencies as well, but this particular agency did not allow Kathy and other women to know more information about the men. Kathy only knew how old he really was when she met him. According to Kathy's father, Kathy said that Park seemed okay. Although it was great for him to visit the Philippines and Kathy's parents, he didn't speak English very well. And so are Kathy's family. So you can just imagine how difficult it may have been for both parties. Though Kathy's family had their doubts, they decided to respect her decision and it was just what she wanted. Park and Kathy got married after only two weeks of meeting each other for the very first time. After their wedding, Park brought Kathy with him back to Korea. It was there when she realized that Park was not well off. He lived with his mother, who was so difficult to deal with. She would always give her a hard time, no matter how hard she tries to please her. She would often talk to her parents about it and tell them how sad and difficult her life was in Korea. Fast forward to a year later, Kathy became pregnant. She had complications while giving birth, so they had to do a C-section, which we know is way more expensive than the normal birth. Park did not have money. He didn't have savings. So in order to pay for the hospital bills, Park had to ask help from his mother. After she gave birth, they went home, of course. Park's mother would often push him to pay the money back right away, although she knew that Park did not have any money to pay her. I don't know how in the world or what in the world happened, but somehow, for some reason, Kathy's mother-in-law, Park's mother, convinced him to use Kathy so they could have more money. Yes, to use her. They prostituted Kathy. Men would go to their house and pay Park. He would then lead this man to a room where they have kept Kathy. They would force her to have sex with these men. And if she refused, they would beat her until she could fight no more. Kathy have called her parents several times and asked them to help her. She wanted to go home. But they didn't have the money. 
Her dad did the best he could. He visited the office of the DFA, that's Department of Foreign Affairs, so many times pleading for them to help his daughter. And they would tell him that they checked on her and she was okay. They would tell him that so he could leave. Every time he would go there, they would tell him the same thing over and over again. Until one day, they received a call from Kathy. She was hysterical. She was crying. It was so loud that they could not understand a single word she was trying to say. Her father said she was just crying until the line cut off. And that was the last call they ever received from her. Days passed, weeks turned into months, and they never heard anything from Kathy. Until one day, they were informed that Kathy's dead. She was found dead in her room with a ligature marks on her neck. According to a Korean news, she committed suicide due to depression, but the results of the autopsy shows she was strangled. She died through strangulation. I'm not sure if this case have been closed or if Kathy's family now know what exactly happened to her. Her child is still with Park and they have never seen the child either. Now, as what you've heard, the story is really sad. It makes us remember that knowing the person that you're marrying, you're committing your whole life to, is very important. You can't just marry someone because you think they're rich. You can't just marry someone because you think they can save you from all the difficulties and hardships and challenges that you're facing right now. You have to know the person. You have to spend enough time to, to see that person act with their family, their relatives, with other people, with, with children. It's very important that you observe how they are with people. Marriage is not a business. It is not a business, you guys. Marriage is sacred. It is a lifetime commitment between two people who chose to be together, who loved each other unconditionally, with or without money. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this case is really old and there's no much information online about it. So we might not know what exactly happened to Kathy. We don't know if her family was able to meet her child. We don't know if the, her child is still in Korea. We don't know what happened to Park, but I believe that Kathy's story can teach us a lesson. Kathy's story is worthy to be told. There's so much lesson here. Let's not make her story taken for granted. Let's learn from it. And hopefully, someone um, listening to this video to this story or someone you know can learn from it and let's always remember that marriage is sacred it is not a business and again it's very important to know the person you're marrying to because marriage is a lifetime commitment you cannot just go back sabi nga nila hindi siya parang kanin na mainit na pag sinubo mo at ikaw ay napaso, e eh pwede mong iluwa. Now, you guys might have different theories about what happened. Please comment down below and we can talk about it. We can discuss. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you on my next video. Let's always remember, every story is beautiful. Every story is worthy to be told. Let's make their stories known as it may help others as well. Have a good day. Take care. Love, love.